Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCA TTV studio, I'm Paige Lesko alongside Kethry Heasley, and these are your morning announcements. There will be an informational football meeting for all players who are currently in the program and those interested in playing football next season on Monday, April 10th at 7.30 a.m. in C-106. This includes any player or interested player who is currently in grades 9, 10, and 11. The meeting will be approximately 10 minutes long and will address our off-season off and summer program. Each player will receive a detailed calendar for the summer program and the upcoming season. The library has a collection of books that are no longer needed. These items are on a cart located immediately inside the library entrance. Please help yourself to any of these items. You may keep them without, che without checking them out of the library. Items will be added over the coming weeks, so check back periodically for anything that interests you. Rogers McFeely Memorial Pool is hiring lifeguards for this summer. If you are interested, you must go to La Trobe's Parks and Recreation in town to pick up an application. Since this is an interview position, you as a future adult should pick up and fill out the application yourself, not your parents. If you are a current certified lifeguard or will be soon and looking for employment, this is the perfect first job. Please call the La Trobe Parks and Recreation Office at 724-537-4331 if you have any questions. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes meets every Thursday in C106 from 2.30 to 3 o'clock. Anyone who is interested in checking out the club should stop by and hear the word. Do you want to work for GLSD this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday, 7 to 3.30 p.m., and the pay is $8.50 per hour. Work includes general cleaning, moving furniture, and some groundskeeping. If you are interested, please send a resume to the 11th-12th grade office no later than April 12th. Employment opportunities for the Rock Club and Ligonier are, are posted in the 11th-12th office. Student waiting area along with a variety of other job opportunities in the area. Please stop by weekly for new postings. In addition, please stop by the 11th-12th office to check out a variety of programs available for the summer. Any junior girl interested in a, in a career in law, government, or politics should see Mrs. Ryder in the 11th-12th office by April 5th. The Quality Deer Management Association would like to invite seniors to apply for a $500 cash award. You can find out more about the award and pick up an application from Mr. Mears in the athletic office. Remember, this is $500 that you can use to meet any of our educational needs. Applications are due no later than Friday, April 7th. Students are reminded to check the scholarship page on the Counseling Office webpage for information about scholarship opportunities. We will be back after this commercial break. Prom will be held Friday, May 12th at Antonelli's Event Center in Irwin, PA. Prom tickets will go on sale Thursday, April 6th, Friday, April 7th, and Tuesday, April 11th. Tickets are $65 per person or $130 per couple. If you have not done so, please pick up your prom permission forms. If you are a La Trobe student, you will need an orange form. If you are bringing a guest who does not attend our school, you will need a blue form. You can pick up the forms outside of Mrs. Suter's room, S209, or in the 1112th office. Please com complete these forms as soon as possible and turn them into the 1112th office to be signed. Tickets will be sold all day in the Commons area on April 6th, 7th, and 11th. Greater Things is an organization in Greensburg that provides help for the homeless and those less fortunate. They also provide group discussions for recovering or current addicts, meals every Tuesday, and a youth group every Monday. This year they have grown so much they are asking for your help in the form of donations. Now through April 10th, there will be boxes near the S building elevator where donations will be accepted. Any donation is appreciated, but they are looking specifically for items such as hygiene products, paper products, gently used clothing, canned goods, and other non-perishable goods. California University is having a free event titled A Trip Through Time on April 29th from 11 to 4. The event will feature living history opportunities in the form of reenactors, hands-on demonstrations, and displays. There will also be a poster contest with prizes awarded in the form of scholarships. Any student who applies to Cal U at this event will have, will have the fee waived. 
For more information, please visit the, event, the events page on Facebook. The Latrobe's Lions Club is hosting their annual Youth Talent Show on April 21st. Please pick up a flyer in the 11th-12th grade office in the student waiting area. The application deadline is April 6th. April is Alcohol Awareness Month. Did you know that every day almost 30 people in the United States die in motor vehicle crashes that involve an alcohol-impaired driver? This amount amounts to, to one every death every 50, 51 minutes. The Sad Club reminds you to make safe and smart decisions. The boys lacrosse team is looking for two students to fill vital roles on the, on the team. The first position is the team manager. Responsibilities include home and away game day stat, stats and assist in coordinating team practices and events with coaches and boosters. The second is a game film analyst. Responsibilities include taping all home and away games, some practices, editing footage, and using the analysis tool to apply player-specific highlight reels. These are vital roles for the team and positions qualifying qualify for lettering. If you are interested, please contact GL, glhslax at gmail.com as soon as possible. Anyone who is currently signed up for or interested in the 2018 trip to Austria, Germany, Liechtenstein, and Switzerland is reminded that there will be a meeting on Wednesday, April 5th from 3.15 until 5 p.m. in Frau Wilkerson's room, B202 at the Junior High. Former travelers will be in attendance to talk about their experiences and answer any questions about the trip. We will also be serving coffee and cake, a tradition in Austria during late afternoon called Café Clash, so bring something to share. Mrs. Zezza would like to thank all those who were involved in this year's Spring Blood Drive last Friday, including all individuals who, who donated or, tr or tried to donate blood. This year's drive was a great success. Thanks to all, all of you. Many lives will be saved in the near future because of the blood you selflessly donated last Friday. Thanks also to the students who worked as volunteers in any way, who supplied cookies for the, for the canteen, and who served on the committee to make this year's drive so successful. The Central Blood Bank workers were very impressed with all of our students involved in the drive. They took notice and had many positive things to say about your behavior and the way you all conducted yourselves at the drive. For WCAT-TV, this has been Catherine Heasley and Paige Lusco. Thanks for watching and have a great day.